Mr. Mulwa. Mr. Mulwa, if you look at the response in volume six by the deputy president, the deputy president says as follows, 4.2, volume six, which is in page 11. In response to the allegations that you called him, or he called you, to be able to push for the bid board. He said that this is clear in paragraph four of the witness affidavit of Andrew Mulwa. He contradicts himself by claiming that on the 11th July 2023, I pressured him to surrender the original bid board, yet by the, by the letter dated 5th of May 2023, KEMSA had requested for collections of the original bid, thus there was no cause for pressure to be exerted on Mr. Mulwa or any other person. Now, in your affidavit on page 70, you put an excerpt of your WhatsApp or communication between yourself and Dr. Rigathi. Where Dr. Rigathi, it's alleged, he said, Dr. Ikunu Rigathi here, kindly contact me. When possible, there is a document for HE we are trying to collect. In the same affidavit, you have the next three letters. One letter dated June 30th, and I want you to keep in mind of the 30th of May. June 30th, which is a letter sent to you, no, sent to, from KEMSA to ESCC, requesting for the bid board. That is June 30th. That is a month after the date that the deputy president alleges to have received information from KEMSA asking him to collect the bid board. Secondly, you have a letter dated 13th, 11th July, where you communicate to the company called Shabika Impex Private Limited, asking them to collect the bid board. Yesterday, when you're being cross-examined, you said that you were afraid, you felt pressured when the deputy president called you, allegedly, and asked you to surrender the bid board. Could you please give us a chronological of events? Because this letter is dated 11th that you sent to them. You allege that the deputy president called you on 11th. Honorable SC. Rule 23 of the rules.